what are the issues that you're facing, problems that you're facing? The critical issue now is how to renew the work permit for my PRC staff. Currently, I've got five PRC staff, uh, which corresponds to my, my employment strength of 29 and 15 uh, local staff. Uh, I have actually increased my local uh, uh, staff to 18 in June. Uh, but now when I went to the MOM website to calculate what is my quota, I realised that there is a over-employment of two PRC staff. In other words, uh, the next two PRC staff whose work permit will, will, will be due for re renewal will not be renewed. Uh, one of my staff, one of my PRC staff's uh, WP expires on 26, oh, sorry, on, on, on the 6th of August, and I think I'll have problem renewing this person. The next PRC staff will, uh, work permit will expire in November 2010, and probably if this is not, if this policy is not revised, uh, I will have difficulty renewing his uh, work permit. And now with, with the global uh, uh, economy coming out of recession, uh, we have got more people coming from China, from, we've got more tourists. We have a lot more tourists, and and we in the service department need uh, staffing to to meet this demand, this 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 uh, increased demand. And if MOM were to to take off two of my staff, I would have a lot of problems uh, recruiting locals, recruiting Malaysians to fill their gap. Have you been to MOM and uh, what have they told you? Well, last week I've been there three times. Uh, it's, I, I've emailed them and I've called them, but uh, it's not the, the response is the phone line is always uh, uh, ringing, but no one picks up. Uh, the email was a little bit slow. I think they take about seven days, perhaps, to, to respond. Uh, I went there the first time, and they say to write in. I did, and uh, uh, I was a bit impatient, perhaps, uh, because my staff. Exp work permit expires on the 6th of August. So uh, I went again and, uh, you know, to, to try and speed things up. Uh, uh, I, I was told that the present policy, under the present policy, it is unlikely I will get this, this uh, uh, current uh, PRC worker to be extended. Unless there's a revision policy, which I hope the government will do. Have you ever encountered this problem before? How long have you been uh, in the business? Mm, I've been around for 23 years. Uh, I This is the first time I'm having this difficulty. Uh, did the MOM inform you about this change in the foreign worker quota system? Yeah, it's in the website. Uh, you, it's in the newspaper, it's in the website, and uh, I think this policy may have arise because of the global recession in 2008, 2009. But with the pickup, if, unless they quickly revise this policy, a lot of employers uh, will face the same problem that I'm facing now. How do your workers feel, feel about this thing? Uh, this PRC uh, uh, staff, uh, they pay something like uh, they pay in the region of eight Singapore thousand dollars to come here and work uh, I pay them eight hundred dollars uh, some thousand plus dollars uh, region of eight hundred plus to thousand plus dollars uh, and and I think it's going to be very difficult if they cannot get an extension. Uh. Can you tell us the, the, the practical problems that you face if uh, you have to you know, let go of existing staff and put in a new staff? Uh, the problem lies in the recruitment of new staff. Malaysian used to be fairly easy to come by. I think their economy has also picked up, so uh, it's not easy to get Malaysians. Locals is almost impossible. You, you've got to cater to their their time, 
I'm willing to. If they want to work half a day, I take them at half a day. But uh, nobody wants to. No local want to work in the restaurant. I'm kind of puzzled as to why we say that we need to bring in at least another hundred thousand uh, foreign workers, so as not to overheat the economy. And yet now it seems that uh, we are not renewing the work permits of the existing uh, foreign workers. Uh, in the in the newspaper today, there is a story about the broken dreams and uh, tough life of foreign workers when they work in Singapore. I mean, uh, with this policy change, uh, how many foreign workers like the ones that has just been described, who have paid eight thousand dollars to come here? And now, after working for two years, they have to go back. They may hardly be able to recoup the eight thousand dollars that they have paid. So why uh, why not renew this uh, existing foreign workers instead of bringing in another one hundred thousand new ones? I mean, it's through no fault of these foreign workers that they have to go back. And of course, at the same time, it creates a lot of problems for employers. Is uh, Mr. Ng's problem uh, uh, peculiar or an exception, or do you see? Uh, uh, well, this is uh, new uh, to me because uh, I guess this is probably a new policy change which as you can see this employer only discovered it uh, when the uh, workers' work permit came for renewal. But uh, anecdotally, just last Wednesday when I was having lunch with some friends at a pub restaurant in the CBD, Central Business District, I saw uh, uh, Chinese uh, waitress who looked kind of distraught. So when I spoke to her, uh, it seems she was quite upset because uh, she also paid eight thousand dollars to come to Singapore two years ago. When she came, she was told that uh, most likely there won't be a problem for her to renew after two years. But now her employer tells her that because of the change in the labour policy by the MOM, uh, she also cannot renew her work permit and she has to go back. And she has hardly recovered the eight thousand dollars that uh, she has paid to come here. So I am sure that uh, there must be a lot of employers who are facing this problem because this is a new policy change, I believe. Well, what do you see as the the, the real problem, and also uh, how how do you recommend that the government resolve this? I think the problem is this: we just we just went through Singapore's worst recession. So many employers, especially small uh, businesses, are just beginning to you know, come out of the recession and they're struggling. And just as things are getting better, I don't think they need this problem of, you know, uh, I have 29 workers, I used to be able to employ five, now I have to you know, send back two, and if I want to keep to two, I need to increase my 29 to 50, which is an uh, impossibility. So, you know, we, we got to help people when they're getting out of the recession and not try to put uh, all these obstacles before them. Do you foresee uh, next year, uh, although this year the, the Prime Minister said that the economy is going to grow between 13 to 15 percent, but also uh, that it's expected that next year the economy will slow down again. So, in terms of uh, foreign worker policy, right, how do you see? Uh, uh, how do you see this extra, this extra hundred thousand workers coming in? This policy. Uh, I think in, in terms of economic growth, we have to see in the context uh, that uh, even if Singapore becomes, as has been reported, to be expectedly the fastest growing economy in the world at thirteen to fifteen percent, we have to not forget that last year GDP fell by nineteen point six percent. So even if we grow at 13-15%, we are still not back to the uh, previous uh, level yet. So if we keep tweaking the foreign worker policy as we have seen now with this problem, uh, uh, you cannot say in January you say I stop, you know, I do reduce foreign workers, and then uh, in May you start to bring in another more than 100,000. This is uh, easier said, you know, but uh, for employers and particularly for all these foreign workers who have committed a lot of money to come here to work, uh, this makes life very difficult for them. What would you advise uh, someone like Mr. Ng if, say, uh, the MOM refuses to budge? Well, I have no, uh, <laughs> nothing to say except, uh, Anjuan Kwan.